When floodwaters are in the forecast, knowing what is going to get wet is vital. So we're looking at a federal levy if a breach did occur in this area here. The Corps of Engineers is using technology to protect people. We have just breached the levy. Within 24 hours, we have flooding in the location of the Missouri Air National Guard. And very shortly after that, we will have lost the ability to evacuate these communities. This scenario is part of Corps of Engineers flood inundation maps. They show when the flood water is going to arrive and they show how deep the water is going to get. This helps agencies like the Corps, the Guard, and local communities develop effective, effective plans for how to fight the flood. And most importantly, they inform local citizens so that they can do whatever they can to get themselves and their belongings out of harm's way. Anyone with a computer can access this information. Using Google Earth, just type in an address or community. And it takes me straight to that location. The maps include geo-referenced photographs. Most of these photos are taken from a helicopter because that bird's eye view is so critical to, to getting a good feel for what's going on on the ground. When historic water levels along the Missouri River headed towards Kansas City, this tool made a difference. These maps showed a, a projection or an estimate of which levees would overtop and, and which levees would likely hold. So that allowed the communities, through looking at these maps, to, to understand where to focus those efforts. The flood maps are based on weather predictions from the National Weather Service, and timing is key. Within a day, we could get information out to the public. Timely, visual, accessible information for people faced with the uncertainty of a flood event. It's been a phenomenal effort in communicating with the public so they know firsthand uh, what products we have and what measures they can take ahead of time. Mary Cochran, Kansas City, Missouri.